Hi Aquarius, welcome to your August mid-month reading. I am Lorianne, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium to give you all the messages that I receive for the month. We're looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aquarius, and we're going to take a look at love, career, finance, family, friends, anything I get, I will relate to you. And this is over the period of two weeks. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate with you. I'm going to start your reading off with a message from the angels. Now, this is actually meant for each and every one of you, myself included. Serena, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Now, that's the key word. Have faith faith. So those of you where you're waiting, needing, hoping, and praying, you've done what they need and they're telling you it's coming, but it's going to come in a different way. For some of you, you may find that the money is there at the end of the month, where it's kind of extra money at the end of the month. Some of you, this is a job that's coming your way or an opportunity coming your way. This could be love. Abundance covers so many different areas. But it's meant for you as a reward for working hard on you, on your life. So that's lovely. I like it. I like it. I'm ready for abundance. Okay, let's see what the main messages are for the month. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, don't know yet. We have the Page of Swords, the Empress, the Ten of Cups, and I'll go over them with you in one second, the Six of Cups, and the King of Wands. So, liking it so far, very much. Eight of Pentacles, this is you hard at work. So those of you where you've been really working, excuse that noise, that's Captain Lovebug in the background playing with his toys. This is you working hard on your finances, working on your health, your career, education, skill set, going back and getting that certification that you needed. Putting your nose to the grindstone is what I'm hearing. Really focusing, and because you focused, that's why this card has come up because you've been working very diligently on you on parts of your life for some of you the page of swords this is it can be social media most definitely doing the research looking online to find out information about a company that you work for now this can be the company like i said that you work for i said that for a reason they're showing me that something is going on in a company that you currently work for you work hard for them you're an excellent worker but something is amiss i'm getting that there's some kind of um, opportunity coming around that's really going to grow you and when we're talking about abundance this is it. The reason I say a myth is you're not going to hear about it. It's not going to be just handed to you. You have to do the research. And again, this is in the corporation that you work for. And this opportunity, should you find it, actually take the effort and look for it, can really bump you up in the corporation. Okay, now. This is lovely energy, especially in the first week. Ten of Cups. This is happy home, happy family. This is what each and every one of us want. This can be abundance. A new baby coming in. The birth of a baby. Grandbaby. People getting married. Celebration together. Family unit. And it's all about love. We also have next to it the Six of Cups. So this is people in your family this is people you grew up with family brothers sisters and cousins i'm seeing that you guys have an opportunity coming for a family reunion but you may not have heard about it 
it's almost like they're showing me somebody forgot to tell you or you missed the email. So check your emails because this is coming up in the fourth week of, Oct of August, not October, August. And they haven't heard from you. So you may have mom and dad waiting to hear back from you, brother, sister. But this is all about an opportunity coming around to rejoice and celebrate with people that you love. You're, you might be a bit of a workaholic where you are not paying attention to your messages. And, you know, us Aquarians, we are like that. We do work. We take great pride in our work. You're... Some of you have an opportunity coming around. This is all about a child, a reunion, and I'm seeing an adult child. They look like they're between the age of 25 and 32 coming home just to celebrate, to see the two of you. And they're showing me you haven't heard from them or seen them in a long time because they are a workaholic. They've been work, work, working. For another group of you, you're getting ready to send your child off to university, college. They have really are getting ready to do the work and they're doing great. And I'm seeing for some of you, this is in the area of law. This is a child that it's their first year of college and there's a little bit of information that is being lacked. There's a document that needs to be signed in order to get them into that uh, university. Now, this could be in the dorm only. They need, you need to sign the document for the dorm. And for others, it's for the whole package. There's something uh, missing is what I'm hearing with that. But that's okay. For another group of you, I see... You're single, you're doing great, you're ready to start a romantic life, but you're still so focused on your work. And you might be a little bit afraid. And I say afraid to open up because I see you online. You might meet somebody online. But it's almost like you're online to hide if that makes sense, where you are not in the visual eye of this person all the time. This could be texting back and forth, but I'm seeing you're not face to face. So the opportunity is going to come around where you're going to meet this person face to face. For some of you, it could be two, but I'm actually seeing this one group. This one person you're very drawn to. They're very charismatic the King of Wands, this is about passion and excitement, adventure in life. This is a person who is a take charge kind of individual and they may actually own their own business, definitely a leader of many and a very fine leader. For this group of you, I do see where you're going to continue to communicate with this individual. They could be of the zodiac sign Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But what I'm hearing is that, um, it looks like you'll physically see each other closer to the beginning of October is what I'm hearing for part of that group. Now, for some of you, like I said, you're going to meet more than one person. We're also looking at the energy of Taurus. And we have cups. You know, we have a lot of love going on here, a lot of prosperity, giving birth to new things. This is Virgo all the way, right? Ah, oh, it feels so strong. This is a Virgo. Some of you are going to meet a Virgo, or you may already be paired with a Virgo in one of the other examples. Now, some of you are going to meet this new person in your work setting. Yes, in your work setting. And they're going to come up and surprise you out of the blue. Remember, how and when is up to spirit. And that's what I see coming through. And for some of you, this is your true life partner. And for another group, you're meeting a brand new person who is actually your soulmate. So I'm going to pull a message of advice. And this again is for each and every one of us in whatever capacity. And I'll pull a romance angel in just a moment. So let's see what they want us all to focus on. Freedom. 
I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And that's exactly what you're doing. Creating the life you want. You're taking control of your life and it doesn't matter if you're going to put all your energy into your finances, but I see you doing it all over every area of your life where you're going to build the life that you want, the love life that you want. You're going to build the family unit in the way that works for you because you recognize this divine energy. You have everything in balance in front of you inside and out. And that's what allows personal freedom. That's what allows people to be free in their existing relationship. That independence comes from being in this energy of the Empress. So it's really lovely energy. I like it a lot. And let's take a look at the Romance Angel card for... Because this is lovely. I'm talking personal freedom in an ultimate relationship. Isn't that what we all want? It doesn't mean going and cheating. It means being able to be you. And proud of it. So, we have a beautiful message for you guys. I love this. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So some of you where I'm saying you're going to meet somebody new that's a soulmate. This is the love of your life. You may already be aware of it. Being in this energy, all the work and energy that you put in, and it completely coincides with this card as well. So it's not just prosperity that's coming in. This is true love coming into your life. So Aquarius, I hope the next two weeks are going to be absolutely wonderful for you. If you're new to my channel, you like this, please thumbs up and subscribe. And for those of you, I'm so happy to do this for you and have a wonderful two weeks. Much love.